poor people are out there polishing the few pennies that you have left after splurging on Thanksgiving dinner. I'm taking a ride in one of my many toys. And while all the wrestlers are out there beating each other to pieces, trying to be survivors, I'm sitting back relaxing and contemplating my next move. You see, all the wrestlers think that they have to be the toughest to survive. And all you people out there think that you have to work hard and be thankful to survive. Well, I'll tell you what it really takes to survive. Money. Tons of it. And I've got it. <laughs> and I'll bet you heathens are wondering, is Ted DiBiase thankful for anything on this holiday? Well, I like the money, of course. Well, I really like what the money No, I'm a generous man. And I've given many people, many an opportunity to make some of my money. For doing the most ordinary of things. <laughs> to my satisfaction. <laughs> I'll give you 300 bucks if you can get down there and give me 10 push-ups. Now get down there and give me 10 push-ups. For the million dollar man, you don't get the money. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Sean. If you can dribble this basketball 15 times consecutively without missing, look at here, I'm going to give you $500. Now, I know you and your family can use $500. I can tell by looking at you that you can use a lot more than 500 bucks. Virgil, give me the basketball. Okay, Sean, 15 times. Ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Whoops! Oh. We didn't get to 15, Sean. You didn't get to 15, did you? No. He didn't make 15. And you know what that means? What that means, John, is you've got to learn a hard, cruel fact of life. When you don't do the job right, you don't get paid. <laughs> Those kids were thankful for the opportunity to make some of the million dollar man's money. But like most of you poor people out there, they couldn't even perform simple tasks. Like dribbling a basketball or doing push-ups. And now on Thanksgiving, a lot of you people out there think that you can have to get on your knees to give thanks. Well, I remember a woman who thought that she had to get out on all fours for an opportunity to make some of the million dollar man's money. Everybody's <laughs> gonna pay. How about a great big dog? A great, a million dollar great big dog. Now this is your last bark that's really here. You can do better than that. Ah. Okay, you can get up. Get up. Virgil. Some might cost you a think she earned this $300 tonight? Some might cost a lot. <laughs> Neither do I. But I'm the million dollar man. <laughs> She wasn't the only person willing to kneel before and you will all. be bought for an opportunity to make some of my Oh yes, there were others. As a matter of fact, I recall a time that I was in the ring when my feet were particularly hot, sweaty, nasty. <laughs> Don't feel sorry for that kid for embarrassing himself in front of the whole world. He just couldn't live up to the dollar man standards. Standards that include squad instead of disgusting and blind and foul like all banks in the turkey. And while you people suffer from the 
Let me recall yet another this. Yes, this is one of my buddies. Gonna pay. Have last summer. Why well, is that? The public That's the million dollar private. man. <laughs> <laughs> I like a lot of privacy. We're all going to be out of the way. 